Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to discuss everything about decomposition tree in Power BI. So before that let me walk you through our data. So here we have our financial table where we have two kinds of columns. So in, in any table we have two kinds of column. One type of columns are numeric and aggregated columns which are units sold, profit, sales price, gross sales and all these are known as measures. Now there are some non-numeric columns which are known as a dimension or categories which are country, date, discount band, product and segment. So this is about data. Now let me tell you when do we use uh, the decomposition tree visual. So normally when we use any chart, maybe bar chart, column chart, line chart, pie chart or any other chart, we describe one measure across one category. Let me show you in the page one. So here we have four different charts. If you see this bar chart, we are describing profit by country. So profit is a measure and country is a dimension. So we are uh, describing a measure by one category. And if you see uh, in this column chart, we are describing profit by discount band, which is again uh, describing a measure by a category. And if you see uh, this line and pie chart, you can see profit by year and profit by segment. So basically, we analyze a measure by one category. So in decomposition tree, what we can do is we can analyze a measure across multiple dimensions. We can uh, analyze across uh, up to 50 dimensions at a time. So whenever we want to analyze our data or we want to find an outlier in our data, we use the decomposition tree visual in Power BI. Now let me show you how to use it. Let's take a new visual. Let's add a visual and from here let's take a decomposition tree. So we have taken a decomposition tree visual. Now if you see the field pane, it's uh, it's having analyze, explain by, tooltips. There are three fields where we can add our columns or measures. Now in analyze, we will add a measure. May it be profit, may it be sales price, may it be units sold. You can add any measure. We will add profit. So let's add profit in analyze. You can see a bar is created with sum of profit. Now in explain by, you can explain by different dimensions and you can add up to 50 dimensions here. So let's add few dimensions. I will add country. Let's add discount band. Let's add product and also add segment. So we have added four dimensions and one measure that is profit. So we are analyzing profit across these four dimensions. Now here you can see a plus icon which is showing choose how to split your data. Now I want to uh, uh, split uh, this profit across different dimensions. So if I click on plus, it shows high value, low value and these are the four dimensions. So let's click on country. So it will show me uh, the profit by country and it is uh, arranged in descending order. So France is having uh, uh, the maximum profit among all the countries. So now if we again click on plus icon and add and now suppose I want to see which segment is uh, having a maximum profit in France. So let's click on segment and you can see the government segment is having the maximum profit in France. So now if I click on Germany, it will show me uh, the data for Germany. And if I click on United States of America, it will show me the data for United States of America. So similarly, we can uh, see for other countries as well. Now if I click on plus and uh, say which product is having the maximum profit in government segment in France. So let's add product. It says Amarilla is a product which is having the maximum profit in government segment in France. Choose discount band. So it says medium discount band is having the maximum profit. So this is one way of analyzing data. There is other way. Let's close this. So there is other way of uh, doing the same thing using AI. What we can do is you can uh, click on plus and you can choose high value. When we choose high value, it gives us the maximum profit in segment. And if you hover over this bulb icon, it is showing a tooltip. It says sum of profit is highest when segment is government. We do the same thing here and again do high value. It will choose a discount band. So for discount band, medium is the discount band having the maximum profit. And again, if I do the high value, it will say which, which product is having the maximum profit in France. If I click on Canada, it will show the data for Canada. 
so using this visual we can analyze our data very quickly and we can find any outliers in our data and now if you want to see which product is having the least amount of uh, profit uh, we can do the same thing again if i click on low value again low value one more time let's say low value so if you see let's click on mexico and we see this Caratera is the loss making product across uh, this high discount band uh, so we can quickly do decision making with this one single visual so that's why this uh, ai visualization is very powerful in decision making and finding uh, outliers in your data or doing analysis in your data so that was it for this video if, if you like my video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you everyone thanks for watching